G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Us by James Bay. For the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Now, this song is really easy to play, but there are a lot of chord changes and variations. So it's best to follow along to the annotations that I'll have up here. Alright, so let's jump straight into the song. And we have a lead in chord here that starts before our first beat into the song. Now the chord shape will be a G and we'll have our index finger free here because we're going to need it in a second. So you don't need to necessarily hit the fifth string. You can have that muted by simply having your middle finger hit the top sixth string and resting over the top of the fifth. So for this lead in chord, we just have a down, up, up strumming pattern. Now for the first down strum, we have that chord and then when we go to the up strum you're going to need to put your index finger down on the second fret the third string and then on the second up strum you just lift that index finger again so the lead in will sound like this down up up now putting your index finger down on that second fret is optional by doing it it sounds close to the recording but you can just play the G chord with that strumming pattern which goes down up up instead then we get into the intro of the song. So in this intro, we just have two chords here, really nice and easy, our A minor and our G here. Now those two chords are gonna be within one strumming pattern and that strumming pattern is just down, 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 up, up. So that last bit is just similar to the lead in and that's actually where you're gonna change the chords from the A minor to the G as well, where we go down, up, up. And you can also put your index finger down on that second fret on that second last strum. So the A minor to the G will sound like this. And you just repeat that twice for the intro. Now we get to the verse and we have four lines of chords here. For the first line of chords, we're going to just maintain that strumming pattern that we had in the intro. And for our first strumming pattern, we have A minor to G. And for the third and fourth chords, we have A minor to G slash B. So it's the same as a G, but you're not playing your sixth string. The bass note is the second fret of the fifth string. Then we get to our second line of chords. And for the first set of chords within brackets, we're going to change the strumming pattern here. It's all down strums. So eight down strums here. We're going to play a C chord for four down strums and then go to an F. I like to play the F chord like this because it's easier to transition from the C. So you just need your ring and pinky on the 3rd fret of the 5th and 4th, middle on the 2nd fret of the 3rd, and then index finger across the 1st fret of the 1st and 2nd strings. And you can also use your thumb to reach over and push down the 1st fret of the 6th string. And that's the F chord I like to play here. So that F chord's just strummed with one down strum, then we go to C slash E. So it's the same as a C chord except you're allowed to hit the top 6th string, which is open. And then we have D minor for one down strum, and then back to C for one down strum. So those eight down strums in total. Now, if those four chord changes in a row are too fast or too hard for you, you can just hold on to the F chord for four down strums instead, which would sound like this for that strumming pattern. And then for the next two chords, the C to the G, we're just going to go back to the original strumming pattern that we had, which goes like this. So in total, the first two lines will sound like this. Now the third and fourth lines are exactly the same as the first and second lines with the exception of the very last strumming pattern where we go C and now we go to C slash B. So you just lift your ring and middle finger and middle finger goes on the second fret of the fifth string. That's C slash B. We're just going to have eight down strums there and the C is played for six of them and C slash B for two of them. So the third and fourth line of chords will sound like this.
Then we get to our first chorus, and this is really stripped back, so there's no strumming pattern here. We're just strumming each chord and holding it out for two beats, with the exception of the last two chords, which are strummed and held out for one beat each. Again, I would suggest playing your F chord like this, because it's easy to transition from the C chord. But you can play a full F bar chord as well. So chorus one will just sound like this. Then we get to a little break and that's just the same as the intro and we have verse 2 which is exactly the same as verse 1. Then we get to the chorus and we have five lines of chords here. The first two lines of chords are the same as chorus 1 with one little variation. For this first A minor we also attach a G slash B after it. So the strumming pattern for the chorus is going to be really easy. It's just four down strums that go down, 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 down. And these are eighth notes so they go one and two and for the A minor to the G slash B though, you'll have A minor for three down strums and then the G slash B for one. But the G slash B is optional, you can leave it out if you want and just play the A minor four times. For the last two chords of the second line, you will just share those four down strums between the C and the C slash B. But everywhere else between brackets, you'll just have four down strums for those chords. So you'll just continue that down, 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 strumming pattern everywhere, except for the fifth line of chords where we have a G and then an A minor, and you're just gonna strum those once. There's no strumming pattern on those chords. Altogether, chorus two will sound like this. Next we get to the bridge and we just have four lines of chords here and for each chord within a set of brackets you'll just play it for one strumming pattern. We're continuing on with just the four down strums which goes one and two and if there's two chords within a set of brackets then you'll just share those chords between them. So altogether, the bridge will sound like this. Then we get to a soft chorus, which just has these chords up here, strumming each chord once, there's no strumming pattern, and it will just sound like this. Then we get to our final chorus, which has two lines of chords, We'll return to the simple four down strum strumming pattern for each set of brackets. So the last chorus will sound like this. And then for the outro, it's quite similar to the intro. We just have the A minor to the G, which goes like this. We do that twice, and then we have A minor to G slash B, and then we end on a C. So the outro will sound like this. So that's it for the song. It's not one simple four chord chord progression throughout the whole thing. So just make sure you're following the annotations or alternatively you can check out the chords and lyrics in the link in the description below. 
Now I'll play the song in its entirety. I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Also, subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Guitar Zero to Hero Express, where I upload just the covers for you to practice along to. As always, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, click the little notification bell so that you don't miss out on my updates. Be sure to leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.